After three years, three years out of the spotlight, Lil Tay started making headlines again. That's gonna be a blast from the past for a lot of you right there. It's not a name many of us have heard in a few years, that's for sure. Probably not a name many of us even thought we were gonna hear again. But, well, you know, things change. In case you've been living under a rock for the last couple of years and have no idea who Lil Tay even is, then don't worry about it. I'll get you caught up to speed, baby. Maybe you just saw the title of the video and clicked out of curiosity. Hey, no judgment here, it happens. But, before we go anywhere, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Go on, I can wait. <gasps> you done? Good! Okay, so just picture it. The year is 2018. The year kicks off with the Seoul Winter Olympics. Megan marries Harry. Facebook gets caught data mining and loses over $119 billion in a single day. There's a lot going on. Then, out of nowhere, comes this little kid. She calls herself Lil Tay. She takes the internet by storm. At nine years old, she is officially the youngest flexer of the century. You already know what it is. Lil Tay, the youngest flexer of the century. A prestigious honor for sure. I'll make sure to add it to her resume. Jokes aside though, her age was part of the reason she was so successful. We see influencers getting younger all the time, right? Apps like Instagram and TikTok have even given teenagers a chance to make a real name for themselves. But a nine-year-old? <laughs> That's still not something you see very often, especially not if they're acting the way Lil Tay did. As you can probably guess by her self-proclaimed moniker, Lil Tay's entire shtick was showing off how rich she was. Her videos were literally just a way for her to brag. She would constantly show off how many houses she owns, the car she had, even though she couldn't drive because again, she was a nine year old and she would show off just how much money she had. She was pretty controversial at the time too. A lot of people really hated her because of how over the top she was about everything. Most people found her pretty cringy, but I mean, she was a kid. All kids are obnoxious, that's their MO, especially if they're being rewarded for it like she was. Her name was everywhere. You couldn't go anywhere on YouTube or Instagram without hearing about her somehow. But then, just as quickly as she arrived on the scene, Lil Tay just completely vanished from the internet like an airbender. It wasn't like her sudden disappearance was some great big mystery to be solved. She wasn't a missing person or anything. People knew where she was. And as far as anyone else knew, nothing had happened to her. She was fine. No, the reason she disappeared so quickly was actually a lot more simple than that. She got caught. See, Lil Tay had never actually been as well off as she'd always claimed she was. Before she got famous, her family wasn't rich at all. All those houses she showed off as her third, fourth, fifth holiday home, she only had access to them because her mom worked in real estate. Her mom would just take her to some stranger's house and let her film there. Maybe she could have weathered that scandal. I mean, she was a kid. Kids lie, especially on the internet. People would have gotten over it eventually. I mean, if people can forgive influencers like James Charles and Logan Paul for all the things they've admitted to doing, Lil Tay definitely could have made a comeback. <sighs> but then something else happened. Some footage leaked of Tay's older brother coaching her on what to say and how to act during her videos. Bro, wait, go back, go back and say like, no, you, you, you broke, broke ass. Which by itself isn't a bad thing. She's a kid playing the over the top character. It makes sense that someone else would be behind the camera giving her tips. But one of the videos also showed her brother yelling at her and getting angry when she got her lines wrong. And I said stop saying 10,000, 2,000, 3,000, 2,500. Okay. It's clear from Tay's reaction that it's not the first time something like that has happened either. It had always been obvious that Lil Tay was just a character, but now people were starting to question how much choice she had about making the videos. People started calling her mom and her brother into question. There was a lot of debate about whether they were just using Tay for money. Maybe it started off as a joke, but then they realized how successful she could be and it got more serious for them. It's hard to say exactly because she vanished before anyone could get those kinds of answers. Seemingly overnight too. One day she was making content and bragging about her money and the next she was just gone. And eventually people just kind of forgot that she'd existed in the first place. Lil Tay became just one more relic of the internet. Like Slenderman or the Tide Pod Challenge. I really hope the Tide Pod Challenge doesn't make a comeback by the way. For the people out there that did remember her, she became something that they could look back on with fondness and nostalgia. Her Instagram account sat 
dormant for almost three years. Her last post was made in June 2018. People stopped talking about her, but then that changed. Towards the end of April, her account started showing signs of activity again. A post was made on her Instagram story saying that we have bad news about Tay. Reactions were mixed to say the least. After years of silence, a lot of people seemed to believe it was just a publicity stunt. Like, it was just a way of grabbing the public's attention and creating enough buzz around her to make a comeback. But others seemed genuinely concerned about her well-being, and they were right to be worried. On April 24th, 2021, Tay's brother posted a video to her Instagram account. The video, dating back to 2018, shows Tay visibly upset about something. Because there isn't any audio, so no one really knows what she's saying. But the caption is, well... It's concerning to say the least. He starts off by claiming that the video is of Tay's reaction to the news that her father, Chris Hope, has issued a court order for custody money and control over her career. He then goes on to say that they're starting a GoFundMe for her because Tay has no money left to pay lawyers for fighting for her freedom. Her father has stolen everything from her. He ends the post by explaining that Tay has been badly mistreated by her father and his current wife in the past. Now, I know what you're thinking. Are you sure this isn't just a publicity stunt? It's gotta be super easy to fake this kind of thing. Just look at the whole mugshot challenge that went viral on TikTok in April 2020. But, well, Tay's brother didn't just leave it at that one post. When he was met with skepticism and accusations of it all just being one big publicity stunt, he went further. He provided evidence of her mistreatment. In one post, he showed pictures of Tay's injuries, the scratch marks and the bruises that he had previously mentioned. In the caption of that post, he blamed himself for the way people have been doubting the seriousness of the situation, saying, quote, nobody is donating and I understand it is because there is a stigma around my name. I am hosting the fundraiser for my sister. He didn't stop there either. In another post, he showed pictures of a police report that they had filed against Tay's father back in 2014. So, Tay would have only been four or five years old when all of this was supposedly happening to her. Her brother claims that while the Ministry of Children and Family Development, Canada's CPS services, did get involved, they were ultimately unable to press charges. The most they could do was take Tay away from him and make sure that he couldn't see her. Now, obviously, this is just speculation, but maybe the reason for Tay's sudden disappearance from the internet in 2018 was wasn't as simple as people thought. Maybe her dad showing up again and demanding access to her money and control over her entire career had something to do with it. It would make sense, right? We already know that Chris Hope only came back into the picture after she got famous. And before that, he managed to supposedly rack up $400,000 in unpaid child support. But according to Tay's brother, he's now using Tay's money to go on multiple vacations abroad and buy his wife all these expensive gifts. I don't know about you, but that seems pretty sus to me. Especially seeing as Tay's not actually in any of the pictures. As her brother points out in another Instagram post, seriously guys, could you not spice it up a bit and post somewhere else please? They have mistreated Tay her whole life and now they're living off of the millions that they stole from her. Using your estranged kid's money to go on vacation and then not even taking her with you? <sighs> Yikes, guys. But what if part of the reason she disappeared in the first place was because they knew he would try something like this? What if the leak was a perfect excuse for them to try and get out? You know, maybe it was something they chose to do to try and keep Tay away from him without any more money coming in from her online persona, and maybe he'd leave them alone? It's likely we'll never know the whole truth behind her disappearance. Tay hasn't been seen at all during any of this. Her brother claims it's because her dad is keeping her away from social media as a way of stopping her or asking for help herself. No one really knows whether that's true or not. But what people do know is that her mom, brother, dad, and stepmom all have one thing in common, using Tay for money. As one user puts it, I hate that her family are pulling her strings like a puppet. No matter what the truth is, I just hope that Tay ends up getting the help she so clearly needs. But what do you guys think? Is this just a publicity stunt? Do you think it's weird that we haven't heard from Tay herself? Let us know in the comments below.